A quick explanation of what I've got in my Voltage Lab wavetable pack. Um, we've got both the oscillators. I've gone through each of the oscillator wave shapes plus the options on it. So for example, with the sine, got the sine going all the way through the timbres. So that'd be wavetable zero. This would be wavetable 128. And I've done that for each of the oscillator wave shapes, as I say, with and without war, with the AGC and with the focus. <laughs> all at the same pitch. So you've got all of this in there. And I've done the same with oscillator two. So we've got each of the wave shapes and then the reflections. And then with the pulse width, or the pulse wave, I should say, we've got this. Plus, let's take this down and put that on full. Turn the soft clip off. We've got soft clip on and off, by the way. So yeah, we've got PWM. So you can do all this. And then I've done PWM with different pulse symmetries. I think three or four different variations on this pulse symmetry knob and with different seeds. So there's three different seeds we can have on there just to show you the difference or that there is a difference. So you can see there's more steps in that one. So there's an awful lot in there. I haven't done everything, obviously. I've done some with the positive and negative up, but you can't really do everything because you look at something like this, for example, you know, you can do that with a synth and we could have effectively an infinite number of different wave shapes. So I've done the best I can to get the feel of this. So 52 wave shapes, or 52 wave tables in all, which is 52 times 128 wave shapes. Here it is working in pigments. You just, to load it, you go into a wave shape, then there's a little squiggle up here. We click on that. You just load it from whatever file you've loaded them into. Here they are here. Let's load um, square focus, shall we? Let's have a listen to that. So you get the general idea. Here they are in Serum. I've left a, an instruction file so that you can work out how to do this or load them in. You can load them in via this or you can or you can use the folder just drop them in the folder and then do a scan they were all created on this so they definitely work on it if you go into here you can see the different individual wave shapes which is quite cool so you can see we've changed it from basic up to the really complex if in this, I may be loading the sign. Where are we? Sign, here we go. So this is the sign, the one I've just played on, on the synth itself. And you can see that wave table there. See the shape of it is the same as we've got on the synth. Here they are in wave table in Ableton. We've got two playing at once here. An octave apart. Obviously something you can't do on the original. And again, here they are on the left, just drag and drop. Let's pull that sign in again, just to show you what we've got. I really like the bass sounds you can get out of this. To try and do just a bit of PWM. That's where's the PWM symmetry one um, sign, source sign or sign. So these are the different seeds. Let's go for sign, shall we? Let's see what this sounds like. So we've got ten oscillator one or oscillator two. LFO one. 
Let's go to the matrix. And if I want to oscillate at two position. Pretty cool. Just make that a little bit slower or reduce it a little bit. Bring another one in underneath. Dirty as you like. So that's it, my Voltage Lab 2. Wavetable pack works in serum pigments and in Ableton. I've not tried any others, but as I say, the 2048 samples long, 128 waves per wavetable. So if you want them in any other format, do let me know and I'll see if I can do some magic jiggery pokery on Audacity. I should be able to get them to fit anything. And these are available on starskycar.com for the bargain price of 10 British pounds. So yeah, enjoy.